Hello, St. Therese Parish. Thank you once again for joining me. I have a couple of items here that my parents had for many years. They had these I mean, long before I was born. It's a silver sugar bowl and creamer. Now, the sugar bowl is tarnished, it's dark, it's almost black in some places. And the creamer is bright, as you can see, and shiny and very attractive. Now, essentially, they are the same. There's one difference between the two of them, and that is silver polish. Silver polish consists of mild abrasives. It consists of chemicals and creams and things that are abrasive enough to take away the tarnish, and yet mild enough not to leave any scratches or any harm. The silver creamer and the sugar bowl are essentially the same, but the difference is that silver polish. The silver polish brings out what is hidden underneath the gunk. And as we journey through Lent, we can look at our practices of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving as a type of spiritual silver polish. We undertake practices that are strong enough to remove the tarnish, to remove the gunk, and yet are mild enough not to do any harm. But there is one difference to this. As we carry out our bona opera, our good works of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, it's not simply a matter of some sort of a self-improvement program. Not that that's bad. There's something more. It's about growing in love of God and love of neighbor. It's in letting our hearts expand. It's in preparing to celebrate more fully the Paschal mystery of Jesus Christ as we enter into Holy Week. So as we continue to journey through Lent, we continue to ask for the grace to apply this spiritual silver polish to our lives, something that removes the gunk that is in the way, something that allows us to shine, something that allows us to reflect, not our own light, but allows us to reflect the light of Jesus Christ. A blessed Lent to everyone. Thank you.